and flower children alike. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Anitra. How y'all doing today? I'm back. I know it's been a, a little bit since I've posted a long form video, but we are back. So how y'all doing? So today, uh, as you can, you've probably seen from my room and many of my like, I'm moving posters videos. I am a fan of K-pop. I love K-pop very much. I've start, I started listening to it uh, right around 2018 and I've been a fan of it ever since. So of course, like most K-pop fans, I get the albums and the merch and the fan uh, cards or the photo cards and all that stuff. The one thing that I've never gotten from any of the groups that I am a fan of are the light sticks. There are many groups, there's so many groups that I follow and they have so many light sticks and I have not ever gotten one. Maybe one day I will in the future, but right now I have not. And the only one that I do have is one that I got from a GOT7 concert that's not an official one, but I still hold it very dear to my heart. So today we're going to be drawing a bunch of light sticks. Since I don't have any physical ones, I might as well use my hands and my skills to make some, make some out of art, you know, make some art ones. So we're gonna be taking some of my pasta pins and my grabby pins and some Prismacolor pencils and we're gonna draw four light sticks today. We're gonna be drawing BTS, GOT7, Master X, and EXO. Those four. Those are the four groups four groups that I first started listening to when I first started getting into K-pop. So again I hold them very dear to my heart. So with that being said, we're not gonna do a, a horribly long intro today. We're just gonna get her done and uh, yeah let's do this. So let's get started. We're first starting off with the BTS light stick. The version of the BTS light stick that I'm doing is the third version because I wanted to do the latest version of each group's light stick. So this is version number three. Now for BTS's color, they do a lot of purples and they have the whole I purple you sort of like fan thing that they do. So, but it's always, it always looks like a, like a warmish pinkish purple. So that's the color that I'm trying to achieve in this piece. So I started off with this pinkish color from Grabby, which is called Hibiscus, and I wanted that to be closest to the white acrylic marker so that it starts off that warm color that I'm looking for. And then for the rest of the colors, I used a bunch of different purples to, you know, make that glow that I wanted.
Now right here you can see that I'm using Prismacolor pencils in certain sections of the piece to give it more of a glow on the outer edges. So if you ever look at like a neon sign, when it's up against like a black wall or a darker wall, it gives off a slightly darker glowy effect of the color of the neon sign. So that's basically what I'm trying to do right here to make it even more glowy. I've seen other people do this when they make their own like neon pieces and I wanted to give it a try. I do it on all of them, but this is the first time I've actually um, done it in this way without it being so evident. So yeah. Okay, so right here I am using a micron liner to create sort of these um, lines behind all of the glowy areas to kind of give it that 3D effect of like, oh yeah, it's actually up against the wall. So that's basically what I'm doing right here. Also, now looking at the camera, I can see that the camera does not really do the pink area much justice, but in real life that pink comes out much more vibrantly and it makes this piece look much warmer than it does right here. Next up is the GOT7 light stick, which just like the one I showed you guys at the beginning, glows a really pretty green. Now I wasn't quite sure if I wanted it to be more of a warmer green or a cooler green because I've seen the light sticks glow both of those, but based off the colors that I had on hand, I opted for a more cooler green. As you saw in the beginning, I don't have this light stick in particular, but I do have the light stick from GOT7's 2018 Eyes On You World Tour that I got at one of their concerts. 2018 was such a great K-pop year for me because not only did I go to this concert, but I also went to a concert for the BTS Love Yourself World Tour. And oh my god, they were awesome concerts and I wish I could go back in time and experience that all over again.
to the next one and this one is the Monster X light stick. This one was the hardest to draw because of all the very straight lines that I needed and it was and that logo is so difficult to draw by hand but it turned out much better than I thought it was so I am very excited about that. Now in my opinion, I do want to say that this one turned out to be the brightest looking one out of all the four that I drew today. And I think it's because of the fact that it glows pink. Pink has always been a super bright color for me. And it was one of the reasons why I used to not like pink at all when I was a kid. I like it more now, but um, do you guys have a color that you hated as a kid, but you liked more as you got older? And now on to the last light stick, which is EXO's. And this one might not have been as difficult to draw as the Monster X one, but it was still very hard because of a lot of straight angles and straight lines. And I had to draw it without a ruler because I don't own one. I know as an artist, I probably should, but I don't have one right now. Hee <laughs> hee. Now, even though this light stick was not the hardest one to draw, it was the hardest one to color. And it was mainly because this one glows white, so I only needed two colors. I needed white and I needed gray. So I only needed two acrylic markers, but I used a lot of Prismacolors to give off that glow that I really wanted. And I think it turned out pretty well in the end.
I might have spoken a little too soon about which one I think is the brightest because now while I'm editing this and looking at this part in particular, this one does glow the brightest out of all of them, which makes sense because it does glow white. So uh, yeah, makes sense. that's going to be the end of this video today that's gonna to be the end of the video I'm gonna leave the picture here I'm gonna hold I'm gonna put the pictures of the pieces here from now on so that you can see them while I talk that's gonna be the end of this video for today I hope you guys liked um, the pieces that we made and I had a lot of fun I've done neon stuff in the past but I haven't done it like this I feel like my technique is different from when I first did it a while back a couple years ago in other videos I'll tag those in the bottom so you can check those out yeah I just I had a lot of fun with this the different colors and the vibrancy and how in certain lighting it does look like a legit like a legit neon sign it is really cool yeah that was awesome today and let me know what your favorite one was down in the comments down below let me know what your favorite k-pop group is or what groups that you're staying you know that you stand you know all that stuff my first k-pop group was bts my bias is jimin let me know who what your first k-pop group was and who you bias down in the comments below with that being said have a good rest of your morning evening afternoon or night wherever you are on this wondrous globe eat some good food drink some good drink get some good sleep listen to some good music know that there are people on this planet who love you and I am one of them because I do too and to my mystics goths and flower children alike that's going to be the end of this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye 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 I love you peace out Hold on, Editor Anitra here. I wanted to let you guys know about what's going on with the sticker shop and what's happening with that in the coming weeks. So it is going to be an Etsy shop, even though I said I wanted it to be a website, it's gonna be an Etsy for right now since I'm still very small and very new to the whole shop biz. Also, I am in the final preparations for it. I know I've been saying that for a couple of weeks now, but I'm serious, these are the last coming weeks. It should be up and running by the end of this month please i'll keep you guys um updated on the community page of my channel and i'll keep you guys updated on how the shop is going and how everything is looking um also just a quick thing these are what some of my products look like i have some stickers and i only have one sticker sheet right now but i'm working on another one pretty soon with some feathers yeah so you know that's all the stuff and i hope to see you guys in a couple of weeks when the shop is up and you guys can buy some things also thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here with me and being a part of my family and being my mystics, my goths, my flower children. It's really fun. I'm, I'm so happy that you guys can be here and that I can have this community. Even if it's small, it's still full of love. So thank you, thank you so much. And now I will see you guys next time. Bye!